to another video here by Daddy Scarpa. We are here today to claim all three objective player cards. We have Sabitzer, a 92 centre mid from the Bundesliga. We have Dilrosen, an 89 rated from the Bundesliga. And then Mateu from the La Liga NOS, 91 rated centre back. So, um, what we'll do is, as normal, when we do objective cards, we'll go through each card individually. I'll give you a little bit of advice on how to get it um, completed, and then we'll go through the card itself to see if it's working. If you are enjoying the content, if you could like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, it would really be much appreciated. Guys, we're on 10 subscribers. Can we keep going? Thank you for all the support and help. Right, here we go then. So the first one is Sabitza. So the first one is score an outside of the box goal in two separate rival matches using midfielders with 80 shooting. So the best way in my opinion to do this one is to have all four of your midfielders to have 80 shooting. Left mid, right mid, two centre mids. Even if you wanted to, play a, a midfielder up front. You know, I didn't have to, but I would just recommend it doing that way. Let them take your free kicks, let them take... Um, any corners and do the corner where you pass it to the edge of the box anything to get it done but I would recommend all four of them to be 80 plus shooting next one assist in three separate rival matches using Austrian players now this one was a little bit difficult because when you play in such a high division I was in division four it's very difficult um, now best way to do it is either put him up front put him in midfield from the start or put him up front as a sub and just get that assist you don't have to win the game so you could lose 10-1 I know it's not good but you could lose like I said and get the objective done so I recommend doing that then assist with a through ball in four separate rival matches using players with a maximum of three star skill moves so again very simple anybody that you have that's maximum three star skill moves put them could be strikers, midfielders, defenders, do it. Um, I used um, the La Liga Beast to, uh, Bundesliga Beast to connect to this one. So I used this one. Score and assist in eight separate rival wins using Bundesliga players with minimum four star weak foot. So I had player of the month Werner and Red Lewandowski. So I would get the assist with Werner for Lewandowski with a through ball because he's only got three star world eleven dots he's got four and four but again just any four Bundesliga players that have three star weak foot four star skill moves will be brilliant for you guys to get that objective done in one goal really and here he is Sabitzer so 92 rated on the base card you know three star skill moves four star weak foot it's the better version you don't want four star skill moves and three star weak foot so this is the better version he's got a high high for a, media, uh, for a midfielder which is very nice and then when you go to his pace, it's it's good. You know, it's not brilliant, it's good. His shooting is brilliant. You know, you don't worry about penalties because you don't have to get him to take penalties. So like you said, 96 shot power, 88 finishing and 90 positioning is very nice. His passing is good. You know, it's very well rounded. His dribbling is very well rounded again. A little bit low on agility compared to balance. But with reactions, ball control like that, it's very nice. His defending is good. You know, apart from the slide tackles and physical again is well rounded, very, very good stamina with the ninety four. And he's got in <laughs> he's got injury prone, long shot taker and outside of the foot shot. So obviously the weak foot, even though he's got four star weak foot, he actually takes most of his shots with his preferred foot, which is his right. So he'd take he might you might want to bend one with the left foot, he'll end up using the outside of his right foot. So So I would recommend for this card maybe an engine you know if you wanted to boost the pace up a little bit if you wanted him more of an attacking I'd put a uh, dead eye which would do all of his shooting and all of his passing or if you just wanted shooting and dribbling um, a sniper uh, would be the one um, in my opinion so that card is a very good and again rivals card some of them are hard some of them are not I recommend you guys doing this card it's definitely worth doing so Let's move on to the second player, which is Delrusen. Now, this one is all squad battles. I did 
two of them on rivals two of them on squad battles but i did the one i'll show you in a minute on i did two out of three on rivals so score using ix players and assist using manchester city players in two separate squad battle matches on professional or rivals i did this one on squad battle so any man city player put them up front any ix player put them up front and just get the assist assist to goal bang one goal it's done next game one goal it's done it's that simple guys next one is assist and score in four separate squad battle matches on world class using players with minimum 89 pace or rivals so i did this one on rivals again um verna has 96 pace i think or 95 so i managed to do that with him so again anybody with 89 pace stick them up front um, and get the goal and the assist on world class or even on rivals this one assist two goals with crosses in two separate squad battle matches on world class using dutch players now i did this one on rivals memphis to i used he was up front for me and he just got it onto the wing like for a through ball and managed to get in but again don't have to do this on rivals could be squad battles just across with any dutch player on the right on the left put them up front put them in midfield just get them out to the right hand side or the left hand side and cross it in and the last one is score a finesse goal in six separate squad battle matches or world class or rivals using bundesliga midfielders with minimum four star skill moves now i did this again on rivals i had bellarabi who helped me get full chem on Werner and Lewandowski um, and again he's got five star skill moves this is minimum a four star so but he has to be a midfielder so again very simple guys can be on squad battles so it's just so much easier so if you're struggling with the sweaty players or you're in a very high division this is absolutely brilliant time to get this done right let's have a look at the card now this is a free card for squad battles yeah and so far the pace just shines out for you so look at that four star skill moves but two star weak foot now that is bad um skill moves is very nice but weak foot is bad and then again look medium low work rate is not very good either his pace is top tier you know his shooting is apart from what long shots volleys and penalties is very bad his finishing shot power and positioning is brilliant top tier look 93 and 294s you know his passing his short passing and his crossing is top tier and then his long passing his curve and his free free kicks is irrelevant so that's not necessary his dribbling is top top tier you know 99 agility 94 balance that's brilliant ball control and dribbling is quality but 67 composure that, that is shocking ea absolute shocking you know, defending is irrelevant, and then he's physical. He's got 99 stamina, 81 strength. His aggression is low, and his jumping is low. You know, he has no traits. Um, because he's a free card, I would recommend doing him. Um, but would he make it into your weekend league game um, if you're doing weekend? Not really. Super sub? Maybe, but I doubt it. He would just be, get him done, put him in an SBC. He's high enough rated. Uh, that's my opinion. Um, but yeah, that's that one. And then we go on to the last player that we're here for, guys, which is Mateo. Now, this card looks brilliant. Obviously, I haven't looked into it yet because it won't let you, but I'll have a little look. Right. Score two goals in two separate squad battle matches on world class using La Liga players with minimum 80 physical. Now, I did this on squad battles while doing the other objectives at the same time. But you can do it on rivals if you wanted to. Very simple. Just score two goals. Do the squad battle glitch. Get out of there. You know, so simple. If you don't know how to do the squad battle glitch, I've, like I said in my old videos, if you haven't looked, look on my channel. I'll do a video out on that. If you guys want me to, write in the comments if you need to know how to do the squad battle glitch. The next one is assist in three separate squad battle matches on minimum world class or rivals using defenders. Now I did two out of three on rivals and I did one in squad battles. So very simple. Squad battles is easy or get them to take corners get the, or put them up front if you're winning two or three nil. Put them up front and uh, in rivals and that will be done. 
Assist with a through ball in three separate rival matches using La Liga NOS players. Now again, don't have to win the game. Just put your La Liga NOS player up front in midfield, get the assist, bring him on as a sub. That's the easiest way to do it in my opinion, guys. Um, that's that one. And then last one is score a finesse goal in four separate rival wins wins using French players. Now this one, like you said, you have to win. Um, but I also did it towards the other player, um, the Bundesliga player at the moment. I had to get him done that way. So I used Turam, the other objective card that you had to do. Score a finesse goal, win the game, get out of there. You know, it's brilliant. It's the easiest way, guys. Now this card, on the base of this card, looks very nice. Um let's have a look he's two star two star which is a little bit you know rubbish he should be three three in my opinion um high medium is a little bit again if it was the other way around it'd be better you know medium high but it's okay then his pace is good for a defender you know shooting is irrelevant even though he's got 91 penalties and 93 shot power his passing is good you know 82 shot short passing 85 crossing, 85 long passing, 91 curve, which doesn't really matter for a centre-back. He has very high free kick accuracy as well for a centre-back. His agility and balance absolutely sucks. Um, but reactions and composure, 98 and 99, is brilliant. Look at the defending. 91, 89, 96, 93, 92. That is brilliant. And then his stamina, a little low on jumping, but his stamina strength is top tier. You know, aggression's 80, that's all right. I would probably say an anchor, uh, just to get the defending and physical all the way up. His pace would go up. If you did want to do the dribbling, though, I would do... Is it a sentinel or a guardian? It's a... Um, I think it's a guardian, which does the dribbling stats, if I am correct, for a defender. I'm just checking now. Um, it is guardian, yeah, so it does dribbling. So if you did want to put a guardian on to do the dribbling, but it does do defending as well. So it would be 99 everywhere in defending. His agility and balance would get upgraded, but no pace. So it's entirely up to you guys what you want to do. And he's got <laughs> injury prone and dives into tackles. So for a free card again, guys, it's so worth it. You know, maybe he won't make it into your first squad. Might be just an objective squad. Maybe even an SBC player. But I recommend getting him done, guys. That is just brilliant. It's just, you know, EA keep bringing out these high-rated objective players. You don't have to use them in your squad. You know, I, like I'm telling my nephew at the moment, get them done. Just get them done. SBC, you know, it'll bring the price down of SBC so, so well. You know, right. But now, to finish off this video, guys, we are going to open all 12 packs. Now, at the moment, Bundesliga Team of the Season is out. Also, the Liga, Liga NOS Team of the Season is out. Are we going to get one? Of course not. But we are going to do our best to get a one. So, here we go, guys. Let me know in the comments if you guys are going to do these players you know um, if they're going to fit straight into your team if they're going to just be an SBC player let me know guys um, and uh, we move from there I think perfecto get rid of you because I bought you um, my next video guys is going to be hopefully the La Liga team of the season um, SBC so that one will be out for you hopefully tomorrow if I can I've got to buy just a few more players unless I pack them now um, which will be a very nice if I can uh, let's get rid of you and just get a few coins if I can no that's fine yeah I'll get that one out for you and then it's rewards on Thursday I finished goal 2 again so that will be another video out for you guys so the content is coming out so please notification bell subscribe like please guys it really much appreciated um, when I do get enough subscribers I will be doing a giveaway um, check out the link in the description I've got um, or check me out on on Twitter it's uh, at daddy scarper 
I'll put it in the um, description below. Um, let me know who you get. Take a photo. You know, tag me. You need any help? Put it on there. You need help doing a player. I'm more than happy to help. Um, so yeah, let's let's keep going. Like I said, we're getting shafted in these players, but in these packs. But I'm not too upset about it because EA do it every every uh, pack at the moment. So what can I say? But that was a Getafe player. Oh, I've already done Getafe, didn't I? So I need the big players. Right. Come on, there we go. Come on, EA. Oh, it's just the board. Who we got? Oh, nah, nah. What's my name? Oh, nah, nah. What's my name? Hey, boy. <laughs> there we go. 85. It's good for SBCs. Um, so I can't complain too much. Uh, there we go. Let's just start from left to right. Five packs left, guys. Um, out of these. These are never worth it for me because I never pack anybody. But they're just going to SBCs. Um, or I do other objectives with them if I need to. A Liberty Torres player there. Uh, no La Liga player there, which was a bit disappointing. What we got left? Five. Oh, we got five packs now. Sorry, guys. I said five when I opened it. Here we go. Oh, nothing there. So let's get rid of that one. What we got here? Come on. Oh, I don't have one there either. But I have so many untradeable players and like packs in my team where I do all these objective cards. There's, I can't even get any coins. Right, again, Silver is my highest rated player. Brilliant. What we got here? Okay. Right. Let's keep going. EA just like to do this to us. Don't like to give us anybody, guys. I'm so sorry. Right, we end it off with three small Electrum players pack. And the first one is nothing as always, EA. Come on, just give me one, please. Just give me one. Come on, what have I done to deserve this? Right. Next one. Oh, nothing from this one either. Come on. Who are you giving me? Oh, La Liga player there. I probably bought him as well. No, I didn't, so that's fine. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I bought him. And you're from the two, so I'll get rid of you. Right, last pack, guys, of this pack opening for these objective players. Can we end on something good? No, we cannot. <laughs> It's just EA guys. What can I say here? What do we have here? Um, an Espanol player. Uh, let's. Oh, I didn't even buy him. Brilliant. Let's get rid of him and get rid of him. Right. That's going to be the end of the video, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you did like the video, if you could like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I'm going to bring another video out tomorrow, and then there's going to be another one out Thursday. So the content is coming, people. Um, hopefully we can pack one of them Bundesliga players tomorrow or Thursday as always doubt it thanks to EA but what can I say right thank you all so much for watching stay safe good night and God bless bye bye